All right guys, welcome to your second training block. So we're into another three weeks and now that we have some experience under us, our strength side is gonna change a little bit. We're gonna go into tempo work. This means three seconds down and three seconds up. Be honest with that count and set up a clock if you need to. But in regards to this, the same concept, we're gonna have sets of seven, then five, then three. And just like our previous three week block, we're looking to have weight increase on the bar. Adjust loading as you need to. So these are really challenging reps but you guys can still accomplish them without too much concern, but it should be a grind on each set. And then as far as our aerobic capacity and strength endurance workouts, now you've got a little bit of experience. Hopefully you can understand some pacing, especially on the strength endurance workouts. And these are where you can start to push a little bit. If you've been hanging on an easier version of the workout, maybe choose one workout this week where it's a little bit tougher version or blend those two things together. But we're gonna see a little bit more complexity as we go through this a hair more volume, and it's gonna be a good chance for you guys to push yourself if you're feeling good. All right, gang, so second block with our squats, we're gonna be doing some tempo work, and this is gonna be the same range of motion we worked on in the past three weeks, but now three seconds down and three seconds up. The reason I like this is it's really gonna force us to work through any sticky spot. So nothing's changing with position, but we're just gonna work through the same thing. I'm gonna have that three second count in my head or looking at a clock and have that nice smooth tempo, three down, hit end range, and three up. We're not gonna pause at the top or the bottom. We're just moving through with time under tension for all sets of seven, five, or three. You're gonna notice it's likely, you're probably gonna try to speed up, especially on the way up. Try to keep that slow tempo throughout. All right, our second three week block, we're gonna be doing tempo bench press. So this means we're gonna take that same range of motion we applied in the first three weeks, but now we're gonna go three seconds down and three seconds up. Let's add an elbow position to this week. So as we go down and up, this is gonna be a little bit easier to feel as we're working through tempo, but I get that same squeezed in shoulder position, unrack the bar, my three seconds down and my three seconds up is gonna be tempo and control. My elbows are gonna flare out to the side at about a 45 degree. That's gonna keep my shoulder in a happy, healthy position. I'm gonna choose a spot on the ceiling to fix that and try to match that spot with the bar each rep. Again, three seconds down, three seconds up, no bouncing off the chest. Our second block of aerobic capacity. Let's be honest with ourselves and find some mixed modality pieces. If you've stuck with it on the bike, let's get off the bike. Let's get to a run or a row. Those are typically easy for us to do and apply that learned pacing there back to the bike in the coming weeks. All right, week four, we've got a workout with a great complex in it for you. So I'm gonna show you that as well as an additional movement called a plyo skier. But the complex we've got is a dumbbell deadlift here, just like we did last week, range of motion, whatever that is acceptable for you, but hinge pattern, hang power clean. We're gonna do that same hinge, but only to the hang. So hands just to the knees. We're gonna jump shrug and land with the weights on our shoulders. Legs do the work, arms follow through. And then the last one is in that push press and we're gonna tie that together for that movement. So as we go to that second one we talked about, plyo skier, actually just use your dumbbell for this. If you have a plate, you're welcome to do this, but we're gonna to try to keep our chest covering that weight. We're gonna alternate back and forth here, tapping that weight, right? Be careful with that one, don't slip. But it's not behind the plate. We're staying here, alternating, just as if we're running in place. Week five movements, we've got a spicy one for you. It's called a man maker. So we're gonna tie that, show you that, and we're gonna walk through it. So here's what it is. It's this complex again that we're looking through. And we're gonna start on the dumbbells here, and we're gonna stay in a plank position with our feet relatively wide. We row left, row right, then do a push up. I'm gonna hop my feet up to the weights, clean them to my shoulders, do a front squat. And then from here, I lunge left, and lunge right, that's one movement. So let's tie it together again. Weights are on the ground, row each side, push up, hop the feet up, squat into our lunge. And that is a man maker. Afterwards, another workout, we've got a quarter get up or a Turkish sit up. So this is great for shoulder stability and midline stability. And here's what it looks like. We're gonna start on our back. And we're gonna have our elbow locked out. The same side knee is going to be up and we're gonna just rotate to this hand, rolling to the elbow, sitting up to this seated position here. 
So from the other side, we'll be able to see a little bit better. We're gonna go from this position, left hands up, left foot's on the ground. I'm gonna roll to my hand, press up, and back to my shoulders, that's one rep. Same thing, roll and press, looking at the ceiling to stabilize that weight. Week six, we've seen most of these movements pop up, but there is a new one. It's a kettlebell or dumbbell swing. So it's just like a deadlift where we're hinging here. We're gonna hold the kettlebell or dumbbell either way. Dumbbell is a little bit trickier as far as how we hold it, either by the spine, that's this way, or by the head of the dumbbell this way. Either one's fine. But that hinge pattern that we worked with the deadlift still applies. But we do this with speed. So I can't really do it slow. I'm gonna use my legs to drive the weight up and let it fall as I bow forward. So this is our kettlebell swing this week and how we're gonna piece through that. The second one is a single arm push press. So we've seen that with two arms. Now we're gonna do one and it's exactly the same, but we're just gonna think about having elbow in front of the wrist. This is gonna create a good front rack position, dip, drive and press, getting the weight overhead. Nothing changes on the other side. Again, as you return the weight, elbow forward, it's gonna make that much more reasonable and easier to complete the rep.